Then Toby had an idea. My old branch line runs out there, sir. Remember? It's far too dangerous, said Sir Topham Hatt. It would never carry Duck's weight. It might take my weight, said Toby. And I know that line like the back of my buffers, he added. It's our only chance to help the lambs. Sir Topham had agreed, but he told Toby to be very careful. Soon, a blizzard was howling. Toby's driver was worried. I can do it, called Toby, as long as these rails hold. But Toby had forgotten about the rickety old bridge. Oh. Whoa! Help! My wheels are wobbling, he cried. His driver fought for control as Toby struggled on. I've got to reach the other side of this bridge, gasped Toby. Those lambs need me! Farmer McColl was waiting. It was very cold. Suddenly, a ghostly glowing eye shone through the snowstorm. It was Toby's headlamp. You made it, cried Farmer McColl. What a brave engine you are! The vet and Farmer McColl went to find the lambs. But they soon returned. The lambs are safe and sound, Toby, said the vet. But we need a place now to keep the little ones warm. Toby smiled. I think you'll find Henrietta's got plenty of room. Toby stayed for several days just to make sure the lambs were all right. Farmer McColl was very grateful. Thank you, Toby, he said. We couldn't have done it without you. Thank you, said Toby. There's nothing I like better than helping out a friend in need.